In this video clip, uh, we thought we would take a look at a water supply site that is going to have a bridge mounted dry hydrant installed on it. So we're in Carroll County, Maryland. Uh, this stream is called Morgan Run and uh, it feeds a reservoir and it's part of a watershed. Always uh, generally has pretty good water in it <coughs> year round. Uh, that's one of the key elements. Obviously, you have to look at summertime conditions and uh, drought. So we're going to walk around and take a look at some stuff. Uh, first, it is a designated water supply site for the local fire department. You can see they have it marked with a sign. Uh, that 14, the 1404 is the box area. And then the A Alpha, that's the designated water site. So. In the box area of 1401, which encompasses probably a uh, couple square mile type of thing, there are several water supply sites and they would be sequential alpha, and then B, C, D, E, and so forth. So it's already marked as a water source. Pumper can come here and draft off the bridge. Uh, it's a county owned bridge. Uh, that's important. You need to know who owns it so they get permission to use it has what we call a jersey wall type of uh, wall, which will be how we attach it to, and uh, that's gonna be made out of concrete. Try to take a look at the depth of the water, that's gonna be important. <clears throat> On the upstream side, generally there is always better water. Uh, we'll take a look at the downstream in a little bit, but on the upstream side, uh, it might be hard to see with the photo or the camera shot, but you have pretty wide water and it's going to be pretty deep over here in my finger in here over in this area that's pretty deep and that's where we're going to end up putting the bridge mount right in here so let's take a look around the other side or down uh, from the water's edge <clears throat> So we look here, uh, we see <clears throat> most likely uh, that bridge mount is, sorry, is going to live up here along the wall and then it'll be deployed when ready. It's going to be on a swivel and it is going to drop straight down into the water between those two piers. Uh, and you can see on our website, you'll see other bridge mounts similar to it. So again, what we're looking for is good flow, and this has it. Uh, you can see some movement occurring back in here. Uh, the stream is about 20 foot, 25 foot wide here at the bridge. And it's somewhere in the neighborhood of about one to two feet deep. So we'll be using a teardrop, Kocheck teardrop uh, shallow water strainer. Let's take a look at the downstream side. We spoke about the downstream often is not the best choice. Upstream seems to be, for whatever reason, uh, the downstream side does not. So we're going to hop across the road. And we come across the road. Of course, there's a lot of water here as well. But... When we look at it, you can see it's nowhere near as wide. In fact, this particular area right here, where we had water on the upstream side, we don't. So it's really just concentrated in the middle. So it's not going to be a good choice, excuse me, not going to be a good choice uh, for the bridge mount. Lift here is a little bit high, but uh, it is a really good water source year round. So the lift will be uh, something that we'll just have to deal with. Of course, the local company has 1,500 gallon meter pumpers and equipped with uh, air primers, automatic air primers, so it should not be any problem. Uh, they have drafted from this location before. So that's kind of an assessment. Um, one of the things you could look for would be a, a U.S. Geological Survey stream flow data. Uh, there is none on this stream. But if you had that, then you could work towards a ISO certified source uh, if you could capture that 50-year drought information. 
So we'll come back. Uh, we're going to take a look as we install. We'll try to take some pictures, maybe some video clips, and uh, show how that installation process is going to go. Come back up top and just look at the other side. So what's going to happen is that somewhere in this area, the suction head will be, and it'll be on a swivel, and then the pipe will live like that, and it'll drop down into the water when the company is ready to use it, and it'll have a piece of rope to retrieve it. So once we get that installed, we'll come back and take some video and take a look, see what that looks like.